This experiment models ocean acidification caused by carbon dioxide. What you'll need is a 600 ml beaker with about 200 ml of tap water. A Bremer Farmer blue indicator as an indicator of pH. Just put a little bit in there to get a nice light color. And because it's tap water, the pH is sitting probably just above pH 7, I'm going to make it pH 8 using sodium hydroxide. I've got 0.01 molar sodium hydroxide to do this. I'll just add it slowly. Wait for it to go nice and blue. So now the pH is similar to ocean water and I need a 70 ml specimen jar. I'll take the specimen jar to the side of the beaker, to the inside of the beaker. So put it in, make sure the bottom of the specimen jar is just above the water level and the top is below the rim. Gonna add some marble chips to the specimen jar, followed by about 30 ml of 2 molar hydrochloric acid. Just carefully pour it into the specimen jar not into the beaker. So now the marble chips and the hydrochloric acid produce plenty of carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide that's being produced here is denser than air so it should fall down into the beaker and not escape the beaker. We're creating an atmosphere with a high amount of carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the beaker should be absorbed by the water in the beaker below. Now as carbon dioxide is absorbed by the water it will turn more acidic so we should see a pH change from blue to green to eventually yellow. This may take a while. From the top I can already see streaks of yellow. You can sort of see currents going on, probably still from when I was swirling the beaker when I added the indicator. We'll see how it comes out on camera. The longer you can leave the beaker standing, before you start the experiment, the better. But it will take longer because the less movement, the longer it takes for the carbon dioxide to be absorbed by the water. I can already see some yellow streaks from the side too. I hope that comes up in the video. Well, you see the bottom is still more blue than the top. You have to wait for diffusion to happen for the bottom to go yellow too. If you get bored watching it, you may want to do a fast forward. I'm going to leave it to all go yellow. If 
this cloud of blue sitting in the bottom of the beaker. The water was slightly warm when I got it out of the tub. This is why it worked so fast to start with. But that might confuse students because even though it increases the rate of reaction, the warmer the water is, warmer water cannot hold as much carbon dioxide as cold water. Steamed up too. I think I'll leave it at that. Try a little zoom in and hope it doesn't ruin the video. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That's it.